it's a nice crisp morning it's about 40 degrees now it's starting to get warmer so today the first day after the rain we are going to take all of this stuff and we're going to turn it into the gable wall that goes on that wall over there okay well there's two packages of it one package is up here the other one is still down in the living room and we're going to bring all of that stuff up here and build that wall today so sit back and watch us build it Well, there you have it folks, by lunchtime, first half the wall of the wall is up and sheathed all the way up. That pocket there, that cut out over here, that is where the bridge beam extends out and makes an outlooker just like at the bottom of the wall right there. Okay, that's where our our uh, rake rafter goes on the outside. For now I'm mainly concerned with getting that wall up and later on at some other time sticking that bridge beam through. The second portion of the wall has a different slope. Uh, it's got a 12-12 pitch so that's a 45 degree slope coming down from that point up there but it's also going to have that same pocket and then that same beam sitting underneath here and the wall going out so you'll see that in a little bit I will work on that this afternoon for now this has got to be good enough second half of the gable wall. You may notice that the sheets aren't cut exactly equal. Uh, that's fine. Once I have that joist on there, that long joist, I will uh, go by and snap a line and cut that off. It's not that big a deal. I just have to rough cut this so it doesn't overhang too much. And again, now you can see the pocket. That's for the ridge beam up there. So now we're going to get started on that back wall there. And it's going to stop right there uh, where th this line and the line that's five and a half inches from the outside intersect and uh, that's our pony wall 
and the rafters are going to sit on top of that going from the ridge beam to the pony wall. that back pony wall all built and I'll stand that here in a minute and I have to put a pocket in there 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 to here for that outlooker to sit in and I also have to cut a notch over here in the OSB so that outlooker can sit in there and go outside so I'll be standing all here in a minute. So second part of that wall built and that goes right there and I'll stand that right now all right one complete pony wall 28 foot long framed and installed and an outlooker put in all in one day plus of course framing up and setting the gable okay all in in a day's worth of work I'd say we're making progress now. We'll have to see how much we can do tomorrow before it starts raining again. All right. Talk to you later. So today we're building the ridge poles. Uh, those are the poles that go under the ridge beam uh, on the edge, on the corners of the house. And um, I wanted to just show you real quick uh, what we've done. We took a 2x6 and ripped it lengthwise so that the piece that we cut off, when we flip that over, fits nicely on top of the leftover piece. That makes the basis for our ridge pole. Okay. And our 2x12s are going to sit on there like that. And then because these are on the corners of the house, basically where the hip and the valley is, we actually need two of those. So here are two of those that are already assembled. And you see how they're cut at a 15 degree angle. And we set those together. That is our 30 degree angle between, for example, the center section of the house and the right section of the house. Now we can just glue and screw these together and we have one big solid ridge pole.
progress is being made. Today I was up this ladder out on the porch above the kitchen and Wolf was on the attic and we got the OSB on the outside of the pony wall up here. So we're that much closer to being able to put the roof rafters on. Progress, progress, progress. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. Wind speeds today 15 to 25 miles an hour sustained with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. And we have our first ridge beam and pole installed. Remember when I was talking about those ridge poles? That's what they're for. They are a support on the corners where that next beam goes that way. So there's another one over on that side. And then there's another gable wall that goes on the other side of the house. And so that whole procedure I have to repeat all the way. And again, hopefully you could hear me over the wind noise. I'm hooked out. I'm signing off for today. Bye.